Hi everyone, John Kovic here, I'm the Patagonia Fishing Rep for the Pacific Northwest. We're here in Seattle at the Patagonia Showroom. Uh, Chris all the, came all the way up from Eugene from the Caddis Fly to highlight some of the new Patagonia fishing products for 2013. So we want to talk about what's new in waders. There are two waders that we have in the line currently which won't change for next year. One is our wading pant, the Gunnison Gorge wading pant, and the other is the Rio Azul. But those have been instrumental in the new waders that we have coming for 2013, mostly in the, um, the direction we've taken in fabrics. The fabrics that we're using in all the waders now uh, started with the, the uh, Rio Azul wader, which we currently have on the line, which is a four layer uh, product that's exclusive to Patagonia. And we've loved it. All the Patagonia testers have loved it. Our fabric lab has loved it. They found that it's abrasion and puncture resistant is just superior to anything else that they've seen. In fact, they've given us numbers like 40% uh, greater than anything they've seen um, out there on the market. So we've gone to all four layer um, packages here for all of our new waders. So one thing I want you to understand is when we say four layer, that means that there's four different fabrics and or barriers used in, this, in, this, um, in all of these products. But the weight isn't necessarily the same. For example, the Skeener River wader here is a very lightweight four layer, whereas the Rio Gallegos wader here, which is meant for winter steelheading, is much heavier. So the difference here is that when you get a, a wader that's the same amount of layers but heavier weight, it's, it's indeed more durable, more, even more puncture resistant and more abrasion resistant. It's like the difference between a mesh shirt and a densely woven canvas shirt in, in, in a very simplified way. So I'll start with Skeena River Wader. This is going to be a wader that retails at $399. Um, the, the, pro, the feature here that is the same on all the waders is this drop down top that Patagonia has used for a lot of years. It's gotten way better over the last two years in that the, the buckle simply release and you can slide the wader down to wherever you want to, front and back. I leave it loose in the back all the time. So you can then bring it wherever you want to on a hot day, bring it all the way down on a day when you want a little bit more um, air, a little ways down, or of course in the coldest, wettest conditions all the way up. It's that simple. When we talk about breathable, breathable fabrics, the most breathable position you can be in is when you've got no fabric there at all. And you feel a lot on your core, so it's nice to be able to bring these waders all the way down on a hot summer day. All the waders have that. The Skeeter River also has hand warmer pockets now. They're lightly fleece lined uh, pockets that pass all the way through the wader. It's really nice, even just for a fishing position that you can put your hand there as you're swinging a fly through a run. Of course, it keeps you warm on a cold day. You can switch hands. We've got a zippered front pocket as well for storage, a zippered and completely waterproof inside pocket as well for your iPhone, car keys, etc. Right? Going down the wader, of course it comes with a wading belt. We put loops all the way around the wader just so you wouldn't lose this belt constantly like people seem to do. As you look at the construction, one of the biggest changes is that the main seam for the leg on all of the waders is now on the outside back. You've looked at waders over the course of years. If you look at your waders in the closet and look at where they're wearing, they're typically wearing somewhere here around the knee where those seams hit each other. So we've gotten rid of that uh, wear point by putting that seam all the way up in the back, outside of your leg where you really don't have any, any abrasion from one leg to the next, right? Of course, all the waders come with a gravel guard. It's um, elasticized as well as ha having a grip at the bottom and having a loop that you can loop onto your shoes, right? Neoprene fitted left and right feet. And I think there you go. So that is all H2 No product, four layer Skeena River at $399. The Rio Gallegos wader, wader has been out now for two years, but this is a much upgraded version of it. So this is the wader that I would say here in the Northwest is going to be the, the top seller for people wanting to fish for steelhead. Um, in large part because we fish steelhead year round, you're going to want it in those uh, fall uh, seasons on the Deschutes, the winter seasons on, you know, up here on the Skagit and um, the Skycomish, and of course spring steelheading on the Sandy or wherever it's going to be. So it as well has that drop down top, right? Easy drop down, inside waterproof pocket. I should have mentioned that all of the waders have this piece which allows you to uh, cramp. Uh, your forceps here or to attach um, uh, nippers and zingers to it so you don't damage the actual wader fabric. Splash proof zippered pockets. Now these look like waterproof zippers. We'd be lying to you if we told you they're completely waterproof. If you submerge in the waders for a long time water will get in there. But for rain and uh, wear around the water they're going to be completely waterproof. So this is again lined, passes all the way through and more secure than the Skeena River is. A wader belt that, of course, um, has loops as well to keep it where it's uh, supposed to be. 
The, the leg on this wader is the same construction, of course a much heavier fabric. If you look closely, and I'll show it on the next pair of waders, there's a knee pad inside of this wader. It's nice for uh, releasing fish, it's nice for sneaking up on fish. Whenever you're going to be scrambling around in the bush, this gives you a little bit more protection to the front of the waders. If it feels uncomfortable to you, it slips out. This wader also has, and we'll show it in the next wader, the wool grid uh, merino wool foot. And that's extra, of course, um, insulation for those cold days, right? So the Skeena, or, I'm sorry, the River, the Rio Gallegos wader is really our top line product at $499. Now we've upgraded it one level this year as well. I'm gonna take this off so we can look at some of these features here. So this is the same product, same fabric package, same feature set throughout, except that we added a waterproof front zipper. Now we know that the advantage here is one thing, and that is it's easier in and out of this wader, right? So we get a lot of customers that are either um, just wanting to sit down and be able to pull their waders on, or they're a little bit older and it's a little bit easier for them to get in and out of their waders, or they're a little bit older and it's nice to be able to get, oh well, shall we say access a little bit easier when you need to get rid of coffee, right? So inside of this wader, this is what we were talking about with both models of the Rio Gallegos, is that the foot itself, let me turn it completely inside out, is merino wool grid. This comes from our surf line of neoprene wetsuits, right? And it's a patented product for, for only us, and it comes in these two models of wader. And what it's there for is to provide extra in insulation when you're needing, right? This is what we also had mentioned with the, um, the knee pad built into the wader that is removable. You can see it's just a piece of neoprene that goes in there that gives you a little bit of cushion if you're having to get on your knees to uh, release the fish or whatever. So the Rio Gallegos the zippered model is 599. So the three models of wader we have for 2013 due into the Catasolai in January are the Skeena River, the Rio Gallegos, and the Rio Gallegos zippered model.